Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and today I want to go over with you the concept of bracing, and so that you know you're actually doing it correctly, and you actually implement it into your lifting. It's something that people hear all the time, keep your core tight, squeeze, brace, tense your abs, all that kind of stuff, but for some people it's a little harder to grasp than others, and that's absolutely fine. You just need some good drills to work on to improve your technique, which is what we're going to give you in this video. What I want you to think about whenever you are bracing is it's more like a sip of air into your belly and then you're actually looking to crush it down. You should visibly see everything around crushing it down. So it's not just one element of tense your abs, it's the entire midsection that you want to think about. So think about an empty can. If you're holding an empty can, it's quite easy to squeeze from the sides and it'd be quite easy to crush down. That is not something that you want your core to be feeling like and it's not something that you're going to want to load with weight. What you want to think of is that full can that's been pressurized and if you try and push down on it, you're going to have a very hard time actually trying to crush that can. So that's kind of the, the visualization you want to have when it comes to bracing. So bracing is what keeps your spine safe, and if your spine feels safe, your body will give you access to your true strength. Oh, it's a different gym. Okay, so very first thing that we want to do is use our hands to get a bit of feedback. So what we're going to do is get our hands and we're going to put them just underneath the ribs and we're going to squeeze in as much as we can. Like that. So push in and feel all that good stuff going in and around there. Then from there, what I want you to do is feel the difference between taking a big breath like this into your chest and then take this here, and think as if you're trying to breathe in here. Forget about anatomy, breathe into here, okay? So you're going here, and you should actually feel that your fingers are being pushed out that little bit. Then from there, what I want you to do is try and crush that all down with your sides, okay? So you're here, you crush it all down. So everything around here, if you haven't checked out our 360 core strength video, definitely go and check that out. You want to think about side planks, you want to think about planks here, you want to think about your dead bug position, all of this stuff all comes into play. And you should feel, as you squish down, that your hands are being forced out this little bit. You should feel it in the fingers, you should feel it in the thumb as well. So it's that breath into the belly, and then boom, brace. So again, it's not this big <gasps> breath in your chest, it's into your belly, and then boom, pull that down. Okay, so you should feel like you're starting to shake as you're doing this. You should feel strong around here, and you should almost feel if you wanted to move, you would feel yourself being restricted by yourself, which is pretty cool. So that is the th sensation that you want to have for your bracing. Then you want to take the hands away and see, can you replicate that sensation without using the hands anymore? So again, it's that breath in, and then boom, crush it all down, and make yourself feel strong in that position. You can even try a squat while you're there. <laughs> and then see if you can maintain that as you're actually bracing. So that is the things that you want to check before you actually start going to weights. Now, what we actually do need to have is a weight. Look at that, seamless. So what we want to have here is that we visibly see our bracing pattern in here. So Jenny has a barbell and she's going to brace her belly. So don't worry about squats just yet, brace the belly. So you should visibly see that, boom, crush down, okay? So that means you're active, that means you're switched on, that means you are ready to go. Now there's a few different things that you're going to feel out over time here. So you have, say you're doing squats for reps or you're doing really, really heavy sets. The bracing pattern is going to be slightly different for that. So Jenny, for now, we're going to make her do eight reps. It's like cardio, it's quite Mean, but Jenny's good for it. So what we're going to do is see her bracing technique and she's going to maintain that as she goes through her reps, okay? So she can still breathe out here. Whenever she comes up to the top, she can breathe out. And she never takes a breath out that actually makes her midsection crumple. So she never breathes out fully. So the tension in the belly, that intra-abdominal pressure, that stays there and she just breathes almost through here. I'm completely messing with how the body works now. Okay, so the difference here is going to be if Jenny, if we slapped a bunch of other weights on, Jenny's going to be taking her time between the reps. She's going to go in for a lot heavier. So say you're up around your 90% range. What she's going to do there is she's going to reset every time. So she's going to take that breath into the belly, squish! And she's going to go through her rep. It'll probably be a bit slower. It'll be a bit more of a grinder. And then at the top, if she needs to, she can go <laughs> and get a few breaths in the top before she goes for her next rep, especially if it's um, she's going for the third rep and she's maybe out of juice after the two reps. She might need to take a second at the top. So every time you should see her reset. You should visibly see that in the stomach. Boom! And then back down. So whenever someone's going to be lifting a heavy weight, the midsection should represent that. You should look strong and you should feel strong before you go for your reps. 
So remember, some things can be more simple than you think. I have seen people over the years doing tons of mobility work and stretches for their hips to try and fix their squat or their deadlift technique or get rid of their aches and pains and stuff. And it was actually their bracing technique that was the only thing that was really wrong with them. Their mobility was absolutely fine. So do check in on this stuff from time to time and make sure that your technique is on point with all of the foundational stuff of which bracing is one of the most important. Okay, guys?